so because there is a lack of exposure which people like you are trying to kind of cover that there should be more exposure to these things so if they listen to more of these podcasts they are active on twitter on linkedin they will surely get ideas of the fields that they can work in but then they have to go in and read papers to understand in that field what is the research problem that i can work in and the research problem can be of two types one is that there is a gap okay mm-hmm. so you can look at the gap that there is a technological gap which i can fill or there is development so there is already an existing solution but it is not good enough and you want to make it better so that mm-hmm. is the other thing so these are usually the two things like for my phd we saw that there is a technological gap okay mm-hmm. that we worked on that there are challenges with the current technology and for my post doc i'm working with smart wearables we all have smart wearables we have smart mm-hmm. watches we have smart goggles some of us so there are smart wearables but how can i make it better how can i make it lightweight how can i make it sustainable how can i make its life longer so these are the two ways that for engineering students i'm talking about mm-hmm. engineering so these are the two ways you can find a problem and then for people who are working on the basics on the foundation uh, fundamental research for them i am not very experienced to comment mm-hmm. on that mm-hmm. for physics and chemistry and things like that but for engineering this could be um, an easier way to find a research problem